Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to yet another episode of my Captive Minecraft series. Last episode, what did we do? That is a good question. Uh, oh yes, yeah, so we got all of the um, sugarcane related achievements such as... We checked the achievement list right over here. We got the lie, which is pretty much just bake a cake. Enchanter, which is make an enchantment table. And librarian is pretty much just make one bookshelf. And you can get this achievement. And in this episode, I still want to get the Sniper Duel achievement, which I think I'm going to be able to get right now. If you continuously jump on and off of this block, as you can see, I don't know if you can... Yep, now you can see. As you can see, it'll keep spawning in <laughs> skeletons. And as you can see, there is a boatload over there. So, if we can get one in the front... I think this one right... Yeah, the one I just shot is probably the one we can get pretty easily. And did I get it? There we go. Pretty simple. So, kind of cheap, but like I said, if you continuously jump on and off this, skeletons will spawn in. And there's a bunch over there right now. But that's a sniper duel achievement. That's probably the easiest way to get it. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm not too sure if there are other ways to get it on this map, but... This is probably the easiest way to get it. And with that skeleton spawner, it's pretty easy to get arrows as well. I stayed over there for... How long? How long was I over there for? I was probably AFKing down there for maybe 20 minutes. I wasn't AFKing actually. I was just... Every time skeletons would spawn in, I would whack one of them. And that's about it. Actually, we have sheeps, don't we? We have one now, but I want to see here. I guess I don't have shears. Hmm. Oh, also, as you can see, damn, those start too much now. <laughs> um, I got, I also ended up getting two bows while I was down there. I got this power two bow and also the unbreaking two bow right here as well. And, um, yeah, so now that achievement is done. That literally took no time at all. That achievement's finished. People were saying that if you go to the island up top, there is a Notch Apple, which is the overpowered achievement. I think all we have to do is just eat the golden apple and we will get the achievement. I think that's how that works. My only issue is I'm not sure if I have enough blocks to even get up there. Hmm... Let's see, so it literally looks like a, a nether island. So my question is, I'm going to bring this regardless because this pick's about to break and I'm going to need a pick to get back down with. And I also need food. Um, Can I breed up these cows again? Oh yes, come over here. Jump down into my hole. All right, there you go. That didn't sound right whatsoever. Jump in the hole. There we go. <laughs> and I literally probably did the worst possible thing. And I can't reach any chest. It's about to be mayhem. Let me the hell out. Ooh. Okay, only a rabbit got out. That rabbit was probably like, I've been smothered for the past 20 days. Okay, well, whatever the case is, he got out and so did I. All right, let me see here. How this will work? This is looting three, right? Yeah. And the reason why I don't merge those two bows together is because I don't want to waste the iron. I'm not sure if we can find an anvil anywhere. That would be pretty nice if we could, but obviously I don't have the iron and I don't want to waste iron that I could possibly get. So I'm going to assume we don't have too many episodes left. I mean, we've gotten almost every achievement. Like I said, some of these achievements got reset. I have baked the bread. I have repopulation. I've gotten most of them back. I've gotten this one already. Gotten this. Gotten this one. Still need this one. Diamonds to you. And still need overkill. So, I don't know if there's a sharpness book anywhere that I can get. But that would be pretty nice to find somewhere. 
Um, but other than that, I mean, I guess I could get to level 30. So technically, I could definitely get a uh, decent sword. All right, uh, can you guys die, please? This is probably good enough, right? Yeah. All right, the main reason why I did that is because I need food. Um, excuse me, get back in there. And you can't leave either. Okay. Got almost everyone back in there besides that chicken. But that is not too big of a deal. Okay, let's go ahead and cook this up. And I'm going to go ahead and... I'm not going to make anything. I'm going to just AFK until this food is done cooking. And then we will make our way up to the Sky Island all the way up top. It's probably going to take a little while to get up there. Um, I would like to loot everything there. It looks like we can get to almost the whole island, so... Yeah, we can pretty much access the whole island, so... Not really too worried about missing anything, so... I'm gonna go ahead and AFK, wait for this food to cook up, and then we'll head up to that sky island, so I will be back in a little bit. Alrighty, guys, I am finally back. The beef is all done cooking. And now, I'm going to make my way up here. Oh, there's actually a chest up here. I will go ahead and grab that on the way down. So, we're going to head up here see what is going on. Maybe there is a couple of chests up here. Like I said, a couple of you guys told me that there was a golden apple up here. So, we'll collect it. I'm pretty sure in order to get the achievement, we have to eat it. And I don't think it's probably worth eating until we fight the Wither or the Ender Dragon. So... I'm probably going to wait so we won't get the achievement today, but we can get it whenever we want if we do manage to get it now. So we'll see. But um, we have to be pretty close at this point. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh, damn! I'm not alone. This guy's got to relax. Golly! What the? Oh, I fell off. Huh. <sighs> what are you guys saying? Alright, what are the odds that half my stuff fell down there? Man. That was an eventful trip. Um... Let's act like that never happened. Alright guys, I am finally back. As you can see, I did make my way up over here. And what I had to do was um, pretty much dig up here and kill the gas that was up here. New ones spawned and the other ones despawned. And I placed this little barrier behind me so I wouldn't get shot off. And um doesn't seem like they're spawning in. I don't know how they're spawning in. It's clearly there's no spawner. But if we've made our way up here, there's a chest right inside there. And there's extra obsidian there. And there is a spawner up there. I don't know what spawner that is. Spider? It looks like a spider. Might be a cave spider spawner, one or the other. So, let's go ahead and try to get over here. Without flying off. We'll see. Okay. Break that. Alright, so we've got up here finally now. Little piggy up here. Um so I want to try my best to look through this once so I don't have to come back up here more than once. Um Why are there so many rails up here? Or rails. Redstone. There's a lot of redstone. Fire charge. Carrot. Villager. Egg. Um, and some gold nuggets. Now, if you ask me, most of that stuff seems pretty useless. <laughs> um, is there anything below this? Oh, that's a straight shot down, that's for sure. Oh, okay, well, I guess I won't be placing any blocks back there. Let's try this again. There we go. So. 
I'm a, let me see here. I'm gonna assume that there's something inside there. If I had to take a guess, I'm assuming it's that golden apple. I actually still need more blocks, so let me go ahead and uh, grab a couple real fast. Real fast, real quick. Head up here. Get rid of this spawner. There we go. Like I said, more than positive, there has to be something in here. Maybe a spawner or a chest, I'm assuming. Let's take a look real quick. Yeah, I probably should have broken it from the top. That would have been more uh, logical, since it was either a chest or a spawner. And I can't open it, because obviously there's a block on top of it. And there we go. And... I'm pretty sure this is the golden apple. I think the other one has white text. So I'm pretty sure that is the notch apple. So we can get this one. Which I'm not going to get right now. Because obviously I want to save that golden apple. For most likely the wither fight. Because I think the wither fight's a lot harder than the... Um... Ender dragon. I might be wrong actually. We'll see. My question is, is there anything else down here? I highly doubt there's anything over here, but I should take a look. There's the pigment spawner. Some easy XP from that. And it looks like that's about it that I can see. I'm not too sure if there's anything else down here. But I think I'm going to get out of here because I don't really have any other reason to be down here. Or up here, I should say. Under the, uh, under the island, so... Let me take a look here now. Do any of you guys want to place bets if I'm going to be able to land in that water sword? There is no way in hell. No. <laughs> I got close, but... <laughs> no. I was a little too far back. And I missed. Which is no surprise. Alright, well... Uh, what did I miss? My shovel somewhere missing. I don't know where it is exactly. Probably blew up all the way somewhere over here. Is it over here? Doesn't look like it. Which is just great. Oh, there's a flame charge. Fire, fire charge? I thought it was called a flame charge. I don't know. But whatever the case is, let's go ahead and place these chests up here. I'm going to get rid of all of this redstone. We'll just dump that up there. And... What else? I'm going to put all the ores in one chest. There we go. Here's all this garbage up here. I don't know. I mean... What else? This stupid diamond steel achievement. I've been trying to get for the past how many episodes? And I've had no luck. So I want to see real quick. I might need blocks for this. We'll see. I want to head down here. And my plan is to make one area really dark to get a bunch of zombies to spawn in. I also forgot to mention. Got a comment last episode. Telling me that the higher the difficulty, the more likely a zombie is um, able to pick up a diamond. So I'm going to, as you can see, the difficulty is on hard right now. So apparently it becomes more common. What? No. Crap. That really got me. <laughs> Alright, he literally uh, blew himself up in literally nothing else. Alright. What I want to do here, is this a half block? Yeah. This water is really annoying, so I'm going to block this off. Get that out of the way. Okay, so... My plan here is to obviously make this area really dark, which shouldn't be hard at all. Just got to um, get rid of a couple of torches. There's another one down here. And shit should spawn in here. 
We'll see. Block that off. And, I don't know, go to some other stuff. Like, harvest these two pieces of wheat that are left since uh, every mob in existence has trampled almost everything else. So, uh, this is my poor excuse for a farm. I never finished it. Obviously. Um, I think I need one more achievement enable, enable in order for me to be able to place a, uh, a water source as far back as possible. And there's also a bunch of mobs back there, I can guarantee it. There's a zombie right here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a torch, light this up real quick. Yeah, I think I can get back there now. We're going to let these guys do their uh, do their work. This is what happened a lot of uh, the time, like I was mentioning. Let's get rid of this dude. Okay. So here's the problem. These stupid guys keep attacking each other. Get out of here. I want to get rid of this dude because he's got, he's got the heavy armor on. Alright. Is anyone interested? There we go. Someone got it. Okay, Diamonds to you has been accomplished. Finally. Of course, it's the guy that has the heaviest armor on. That's probably the hardest to kill out of all these guys. First of all, I don't know why there's so many zombies even over here. There's not even a spawner. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? All right, can I have my diamond back, please? All right, I mean, I guess that worked out pretty well. Man, this combat system is garbage. Did he drop it, or is he still, he's still holding it? What's up, my dude? All right, can you uh, please that? There we go. Okay, well, we finally got that achievement. Actually, yeah, we're good now. We can actually place a block further back here. There is a bunch of stuff over here. I need to put some torches in there because it is way too dark. Can I actually place one back there now? What in that? Almost died. I want to kill these endermen first. Because obviously we need ender pearls as much as possible. Yeah, how you doing, baby? You want to drop some ender pearls? I wish I had that that um, looting three fish on me. Cause I'm assuming this guy didn't drop anything. Okay, took him out. What's up, dude? Okay, don't make it too easy for me to kill you now. The thing is, they have to actually drop something. There we go. He probably... He did drop. Shoot me in the foot. Well, he dropped something, but, um... I'm also dead. So, uh, that is fantastic. I don't mean, I don't mean to sound too interesting right now, but, uh, you know... What can I say? I'm so excited to go back down here and probably get killed again. Alright guys, I am back once again. I've died about uh, 1,600 more times and um, I'm about done with this uh, series for today. About to shoot myself in the foot since I've died 16 times. So it's uh, been really enjoyable, I gotta tell you. But um, I think that's going to go ahead and conclude today's episode. We got two achievements. So I can't really complain about that. Um, man, we got an achievement we've had already. It's good to, good to see. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode right here. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Of course, if you guys did, feel free to give the video a thumbs up. And, um, I think that's just about it. We got a couple more achievements we need to get. Overkill. Maybe one we can try getting. But we'll see. But other than that, thank you guys for watching this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next one.